Grace and peace. This is Dr. Connie Williams coming to you during the Holy Week or the Festival Week, the Easter Week, the Resurrection Week, whatever you desire to call it or however you celebrate it, as long as you celebrate it, because we do need to celebrate Him. So this is just me coming to you with some thoughts about Easter. And we know that everything happens for a purpose. Well, we know that Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. That 30 pieces of silver is what got us into the 30-fold or the outer court. The silver represents redemption. So we know that he was betrayed with the 30 pieces of silver, which opened up the outer court to us. And when Judas took the money back to the priesthood and said, I have betrayed an innocent man, that was just a confirmation that because the lamb that was slain in the Old Testament had to have two or three confirmations that it was holy and without blemish. So Judas confirmed that he had betrayed an innocent man or that Jesus was an acceptable sacrifice because he was without sin. And so Judas said, you can have your blood money back. He didn't want the blood money. And the Sadducees and Pharisees said, well, what will we do? This is blood money. We can't do anything with this. And so they bought the potter's field and they buried all the strangers in the potter's field. Can I prophetically tell you, when they purchased that potter's field, they purchased all the broken, dead, pieces of humanity in order that God might reconcile them unto himself. As Gentiles, we were in that potter's field, dead to trespass, dead to sin, no chance, no chance of survival. Uh, we were buried in that potter's field. We were broken vessels, had been on the potter's wheel, broken by life, and been thrown out in the field to die and to be uh, unremembered. But when Judas had them by, or when they bought the potter's field, that redeemed all of us that didn't know him, all of us that were strangers, all of us that didn't realize we needed a savior, all of those that were dead and broken into pieces, when he bought the potter's field, he bought the pottery. And you, my friend, were a piece of the pottery that he bought. So now he is the potter and he will put you back on the wheel. You might be broken and dead and buried, but he's the potter now. He will put you back on the wheel and make something beautiful out of you. God bless you. I hope I encouraged you. Have a good week.